Good evening, everyone, and welcome. Welcome to Stocks with Show, a review of Adobe. Adobe had earnings tonight. I talked about this in the room this morning. In fact, the video of the room this morning is on YouTube. And you can go back and look how I looked at Adobe this morning, and I knew it would gap up. And it is. It's gapping up. So I'm even predicting gaps before they even happen now, which is... <laughs> I don't even have any words anymore, but... All I have to say is that I really, 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 really know how to read gaps, and that allows me to read price correctly. Everyone keeps asking me these specific questions about price. I read price well because I read gaps well, because I taught myself how to properly trade gaps. I'm the only person out there that is trading gaps in the manner that I am. There's so many different methodologies out there to trade gaps, and they don't all work consistently. The reason that what I do consistently works is because I'm reading institutional positioning in a stock or the market. That's how I've called the market well all this year. That's how I am able to even predict now things that are going to happen before they do, like Adobe. So let's review it. Adobe closed today at 4 o'clock Eastern time at 69.85. And right now this is happening live in the post market. Adobe is making a new high. High is 75.12 up here. And Adobe will gap up tomorrow morning. There's nothing that will change that. It's gapping right now, but the market's closed. This is post-market. When you get up in the morning out of bed, it'll be pre-market before 9.30, and I will rate the gap. Now, <clears throat> I did not rate Adobe. Oh, look at this thing. <laughs> I don't know where exactly this is going to open because this is just continues to get bought. I have no idea what's going to open tomorrow, but... Adobe is a nice bullish gap. And if it sets up right for long tomorrow, it's a good long. Target's $80. That could even happen on the day. But the problem is, if the setup doesn't happen the way that it needs to, <clears throat> which I won't know till I see in the morning, when I get up and rate the gap and look for the setup, then it may get faded tomorrow. Now, what am I talking about? There are some traders that will look to short Adobe tomorrow as what is called a fade or a gap to fill itself, meaning that Adobe would open up here and people, traders would look to short this into this area. That's the wrong thing to do. <clears throat> and even if Adobe goes red on the day tomorrow, it's still not a good short and it's a bad trade. It's just flat out a bad trade. Okay. So, but I know people are going to do that. One of the reasons that I'm, again, I'm good at what I do is because I am anticipating also what I know what other people are doing too which I know that people will be fading Adobe tomorrow because a look at this is a large gap up. And people that are in Adobe long, and there's people long Adobe, all from the rally up in here, all from this rally in here, will be wanting to take profits because they'll be up nice profits in this gap up in the morning tomorrow. They'll want to exit their long, and that will create red, and then people want to short it. But that's not the right thing to do because this is actually a quality golden gap to the upside, a good bullish gap that institutions are making the gap, and it should follow through tomorrow in the live day. I won't know until I see how it sets up, but the point I'm trying to make is even if it doesn't follow through on the live day tomorrow, Adobe is still a good long because institutions are buying this, and this will follow through and will hit $80, and whether or not it hits it today, tomorrow, or next week, it doesn't matter. It will before the end of the year. And, you know... <sighs> It's just one of these things where I knew this would gap up. You can watch the market video. I have it. I taped it this morning. I knew Adobe would gap up. I don't get in these until they gap, but it's just amazing even to myself when I realize that I'm predicting gaps. This could have very well gapped down. Could have gapped down to 67.50. Could have gapped down to 65. Could have gapped down to 66. But I knew it would get up, gap up. I had 100% conviction this would gap up. So, you know, basically, I think one of the best things about what I know how to do is that I can accurately predict what something's going to do before it does it. And I'm even now doing that in, even in predicting the gaps. But when the gap happens, it is very easy for me to predict what it's going to do on the live day and then in the future. Because I can predict whether something is a good long or good short. Not every bullish gap can be bought, and not every bearish gap can be shorted. Not every bullish gap follows through, and not every bearish gap follows through, even for the longer term. Gaps are a specialized strategy to trade. I don't know anyone else that knows how to do it like me. I know a lot of people doing a lot of different things in gaps, and most of them don't work consistent, consistently. 
In order to make money as a trader, you must be consistently profitable. This is one of the things that people struggle with. So you've got to find something that definitively will enable you to consistently trade for profit. The nice thing about gaps is you get them in the market almost every day. Long or short, you usually get one direction or the other every day. In earnings season, you get a lot every day. And you're looking for the quality. It's either there or it's not. If it's there and it rates 20 points or more, I trade it. If it's not, then I don't do anything. And that makes it easy. And you know all of this in the pre-market before you even trade. So you could leave and go home or go to the gym before 930 if there isn't any good gaps. And if there is, you stay, you trade, and you trade the gap, and you hit it hard, and you wait for the setup, and you do it, and you trade it, and it goes. And that's how you make money, day after day after day after day. So... Adobe is a good long watch tomorrow. I don't know if it sets up right. I know people will be looking to fade this and it is the wrong thing to do, but oftentimes people trade and do the wrong thing. Sometimes people take trades that are wrong and they still make money doing it. And that's the worst because they'll keep doing that same thing, thinking that it works consistently and it doesn't. You cannot trade against institutional positioning in stocks or the market. It's a disaster. You will fail ultimately as a trader if you don't know how to read institutional positioning. And that's one of the reasons why my class is so important for people to take and to understand what is really happening in these stocks. You can have all the indicators in the world on a chart, everything you could look at and more, and it's not going to tell you what I know in a gap. If I had nothing to look at every day, but just looking at the closed price from yesterday and the open price today in a gap, I'd be able to trade. There's very few people that can do that. I don't need anything else in my chart and I could do that. I could trade pure price action based on that, and I could do it accurately. So the gaps, the system that I know, teaches you how to read price well and in the correct manner. And that is how I'm able to predict what something's going to do. So target for Adobe is at $80. I know that people are going to fade this tomorrow, though. And because I know that, you will have to watch and wait for the correct setup before you do it. But I did know this would get up. <clears throat> and, and, it just, and it very well could have kept down, but I knew it would get up. So, you know, I think that for people that really are serious about their trading, they'll take my class. $3,000 is a bargain to learn the kind of stuff I know because you can use it over and over and over and over and over again to make money. But for people that are not serious about their trading, they're going to flounder around and do a million different things, searching for, searching for something, something that doesn't require them to have any effort or cost any money, and that alone doesn't make any sense. Anything that's worthwhile, you're going to pay for the information. And if you're not paying for something and you're getting it on the cheap, then it's probably not good and therefore you're wasting your time. At the end of the day, time is money and your time is important and you want to learn how to trade as quickly as you can. And that's why being with me in the live room, taking my class, having me mentor you is the best thing you could do. I was just talking to a student today. Your chance of making it is here with me now. If you really were serious about doing this, if this is what you want to do, this is it. This is your chance. This is your chance. If you want to learn from me, I am here. I'm still teaching people now. I'm still teaching people what I know. And there will become a time that I won't. What I know is so good. I am now predicting things to gap before they even do. I love this stuff. I don't even know what to say. I love, love, love the fact that I'm so good at reading price. And it really is because I am an expert absolute expert in reading gaps. You can become an expert too. It is a skill that you need to learn to master. And with someone like me that's as good as I am teaching you how, you've got all the tools on your side. What more can you want? Otherwise, you're going to flounder around for years. So pick tomorrow, top bullish pick is Adobe. It's got to sit upright. And I have no idea where it opens, and I know people are going to try to push us down and fade it. So we'll see what happens. But there is a small, 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 small chance that Adobe could open tomorrow and swoosh. Just put it out there. I don't know where this opens in the morning. I have no idea where it's going to open in the morning. It's a long way away from now, between now and 9.30 a.m., even when the market closes tonight and in the morning. But I just put it out there that there is a small, small, small chance that Adobe could actually open tomorrow and swoosh. So who knows? I might end up doing this myself. Have a great day, everyone. Have a wonderful evening. The last Golden Gap class of 2014 is this weekend, December 13th and 14th. And then I'm going to relax, enjoy myself over the holidays. But I will be teaching everybody this weekend that wants to learn before 2015. 
And if you'd like more information or want to sign up, email me at melissa at thestockswish.com. Thanks, everybody. Have a great night.